hello 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 welcome back to my channel today's video is a video on detoxing so detoxing meaning i know me for example i'm a semi product i'm a product junkie right so i like to try new products i like to buy new products but the thing is a lot of these products out here which was mind blowing to me as i'm as i was looking more into it and looking being more cognizant of the type of products that I'm buying and the things I'm putting on my body. It is crazy the types of chemicals that are in these products like lotions, shampoos, conditioner, body wash, even like things as simple as chapsticks. So today's video, I'm going to have a little segment on my channel. It's going to be called Journey to Green or something like that, but just a journey to getting rid of the toxic items in your life whether it's i mean mostly products and just things including like cooking where that sometimes we're not aware that we're using these things and that they're harmful for us so today is the first one i was going to use my gopro camera but and I'm, I'm not very knowledgeable on how to use it yet and plus it just keeps the battery keeps draining real quick so until i figure out how to use it i guess i'm just going to continue to use my phone camera because it's I mean it works pretty well but anyway so here it is so just let's start with things that um well let me see i mean i guess i've always tried to buy natural products or just like i've always assumed that i was using things that were safe for me but in actuality they are not and so i think the whole thing started with oh, i don't remember how but i know i downloaded this app it's called think dirty so get the app, it's called Think Dirty. And they may not have all the products, but if you can't, if you don't have the app, um, I mean, like if you don't find the product that you're scanning on the app, you can input the information. Or the other thing is, um, if not, then you can go on this, the, the website is called EWG. And it's on my phone, but it's, um, it's on my phone. Let me see. I'm going to move this phone from here. I won't be able to find it, though, right? So it's it's a website. It's EWG, and it certifies, like, basically um, Skin Deep. EWG Skin Deep is the site. And so you can go on the website, and you can type in the product, and they'll give you all the information. And all of Both of these sites will give you a score between 1 being, oh, 0 being very safe, non-toxic, to 10 being, like, very highly toxic and so today i'm going to start off with makeup and body products and for me like i don't wear a lot of makeup i don't I rarely wear makeup but if i do then you know i tend to buy cheaper versions of makeup and the thing is um these makeups are not that safe so for example i have this elf poreless face primer right and this is uh, an eight on the toxicity level it's an eight um, because it has some kind of but butyl paraben and butyl paraben is a hormone disruptor which is crazy i was like oh my god this is what you put and then also like these lip the the lip pencil from e this is an elf product so elf and the same thing for the lip pencil like i love their lip pencil i usually get the praline or like the darker berry one which i don't know what it's called but um here it is yeah i still don't know what it's called but i usually get these right because they're so affordable they're like to no more than three dollars and you just i mean and they work pretty good right but the thing is these are also hormone disruptors uh there's some kind of chemical in it that that is and so but for the most part like this is an eight versus this right here is a three but you kind of have to look at the ingredients and see like what it's tested for or like elf eyeshadow this is an eight i had to mark these now a lot of eyeshadows are very highly toxic the nudes um this is toxic and then you have the um uh, the Fix Prime Mac Fix Mac Prime Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This thing right here, I actually love the way it smells, and I'm really into products that have good smells. But because of the fragrance in here and the what is it, phenyl oxal, right? It's a it's a, a allergen and it's also a, a carcinogen. So 
you know, you have to be real careful with these products, which was mind blown. My hand lotion. So all this stuff is basically going to the trash because I've decided to revamp my the little bit of makeup that I, I have. Like these items from God knows where I got them from. They're all toxic. They're all in here. And I've decided to get rid of them and to use more natural beauty products, right? So for natural beauty products that I will be using are items like this right so not this right here that one is a five i think and that one i'm still debating but things like burt's b um so if you want products that are non-toxic uh low in, in dangerous chemicals non-carcinogens uh non-hormone disruptors then the best products would be and the thing is, I'm using the phone that I have the app on, but I would like show you the app and show you like how it comes out. Actually, I'm going to download the app right here. Um, oh, you can download this app too. So like things like this right here, which is um, Bird Speed, usually most of their products are good, right? So for makeup, you might want to get like Honest or Bird Speed or there's a new brand, uh, Pacifica, but they're kind of expensive and um like um what else yeah here it is this this is the brand uh pacifica natural beauty dream big so i've decided to go with this mascara instead and then like nail polish i still have my nail polishes but i've decided i'm going to use a more natural base coat piggy uh, piggy paint base coat and then like you the thing is you kind of have to like really research these products um to see what like so that you can look at the ingredients and see why they're rated the way that they are because sometimes it can be deceptive i never knew this right here is actually very good number seven blush and i've had this uh, mineral perfection i've had this for a while so surprisingly that one was safe and then like i mean i said and then this right here the eyeliner and then the rest of the stuff is my brushes and what I use to brush my brows with, right? Nothing too fancy. And then these right here, um, I wasn't too sure if I should get rid of them, the NYX HD, but surprisingly, this is a five. And I think the only dangerous thing that's in it, it's uh, some type of antibacterial in, um, item that they use, which is called, I think it's called phenyl, um, fine phenyl oxo something but yeah if i get the name of it once i get into this app i'll i'll let you know what it is but the yeah so like i mean that's kind of the only thing right nyx let me see what this is nyx and these are concealers and so i'm still debating if i like really want to use these and um see here it is it's a five on the app um oh man so I have to log in and I don't, now I have to kind of guess my information, huh? Okay. So yeah, just to keep it real simple, it's just like, even though these natural beauty products cost more, they're definitely more safe. Can you imagine putting something that's a hormone disruptor on your face or like putting that stuff on your lips and putting it near your eyes like you know your body's a um your body's precious so you don't want to put things that are gonna cause harm to it and um yeah and that's where i'm at now so i've gotten rid of once i throw that stuff away all the toxic things um and then i also created a list on this app and uh, let me see so this is the app right here and then let's let's and and also the cool thing about the app is it will give you options like it will give you some recommendations um and it gives you the little links where you can shop and you know so okay so here it is right here so this is for the the um the the nyx concealers the hd ones and then it says right here the only one the only chemical that's kind of dangerous because you'll see um it will tell you if it's so this is a five which is moderately kind of you know it's not really that clean but it's better than a lot of stuff i've seen out there 
and these are like all the chemicals and, and it's a five because of the phenyloxyethanol and phenyloxyethanol is used in a lot of beauty products like including lotions and stuff because it's like um what did they say it's a common synthetic antimicrobial preservative used in cosmetics there are no reports of this compound being found in natural extract so and it's a potential neurotoxin and that part right there is the one that has me like debating like i think it's okay to use it a little bit but not in excessive amounts and they're still doing research on that so this is the app right here this think dirty app okay so that's it for makeup like i mean like I said, I'm still debating about the concealer, but the rest of the stuff I'm pretty happy with. The Burst B, like if you're a darker complexion, it might be a bit harder uh, to find some of their beauty products like that. But yeah, now let's mo move on to things like hair, right? So shampoo and conditioner. I've basically simplified it to the max. So I used to use things like Gar Garnier, Garnier Fruit Teeth. I used to use... Um, cream of cream of nature like things like this right and then shampoo and conditioner and what else um yeah like this right here dark and lovely products right and suave products like you name it i've kind of used it right chi products and all of these are eight i mean all of the beauty products that i just showed you now they're eight and they have dangerous chemicals and they're they are potential uh carcinogens or like some of them actually say that they are carcinogens and so for that um so yeah so that's the shampoo and conditioner i'm just going to show all of like the body the hair and body products right and then like things like of course i would use uh baby oil right nail polish remover i had to switch this out too most of this stuff have been used and some haven't. Surprisingly, Eucerin is for sensitive skin. And then most of the Eucerin products are not like, they don't have safe chemicals in them. So this right here, I used this for like years. And now and it's like, I'm going to stop using it because it's an eight. And it's, um, I mean, I can look on the app and tell you why the Eucerin, right? Eucerin. And so I think the app is a good starting point. You look at the app. You, you research your products on the app. Um, what is this called? Daily Protection, Eucerin. Daily Protection. Um, it's crazy, right? So this right here has a few, but it's this, the one in red is the most dangerous in, ingredient, and, and it's the DMDM Hydation. Don't ask me what that is. A form form formaldehyde releasing agent. What? Like, what the heck? Uh, uh, form formaldehyde releasing agent, preservative in a wide range of cosmetics. It's considered group one carcinogenic to humans by IARC International. This item right here was created to help protect block sun light from you to prevent you from getting skin cancer. Only to have ingredients that are uh, skin cause skin cancer causing ingredients i mean just cancer causing ingredients so to me like it's just so mind-blowing how these companies are even allowed to put this type of stuff into their products so yeah and i'm like i completely have to stop using this so a lot of my products uh things like toothpaste right i don't really use this toothpaste but it was in the house but yeah this is an eight but surprisingly, a lot of the toothpaste are kind of like lower than some of these hair and beauty products I've been using. Um, St. Ives, this right here, crazy, right? Because I know a lot of people probably use St. Ives blemish, um, the, the scrubs. This is an eight, and this has some dangerous things in it. So, I mean, just in general, this is the container. And the other thing that I was kind of surprised about were not not really surprised, but Dove soaps. And all of the Dove soaps are high in, in toxic chemicals, except maybe I think the sensitive skin one, that's like a three, but the rest of them are like eights, you know, like very high in chemicals. And so what I did was, of course, I got all of my beauty products, put them all out. I went one by one, I put them in this app or the other one, the EWG, 
and I looked at the rating and anything that was over a five, I automatically eliminate. The ones that's like four and five, uh, that, those are debatable. I think I shouldn't use those that much, but at the same time, like I, you have to look uh, specifically to see what ingredient is in it because if it's a, a hormone disruptor or something, then no, I don't use it. But if it's like something that they really haven't, um, don't have too much findings on how that, that chemical can really affect you, like the the one with the um, antimicrobial preservatives, that one is like, mm, it's debatable, you know, like it's okay to use it, but not probably excessively. And so this is all going to the trash in 2020 because I will not be using toxic chemicals on my body, on my hair, in my mouth, on my skin, on my face. No, 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 no. So what I did is, um, you would think this lotion right here is, is good, right? Every one lotion, which it is. I think this is like a, a two or three, but that's because of the phenox, phenoxyethanol, the, the preservative that I told you about. And But aside from that, this is okay. So what I've been doing is using this as a hand lotion instead of using something like from Bath and Body Work, all right? That stuff is like that store is a cancer factory if you walk in there. So, yeah, because a lot of those, um, the candles, the air, and I never, oh, you know, I think the whole thing started because maybe I used a plug them from there and it caused a severe allergic reaction. I don't remember, but yeah, this stuff is like, but this is safe. This is, this is kind of safe. This is okay. Um, I use that for my hands. For my body, I might use something like this or just use like a natural oil that I've made with some natural oils that I had lying around or uh surprisingly most of the shea moisture products did very well um that i looked up in the app they were like zero one two three no more than three but like this right here so this would be like what i would use to moisturize the things that i use to wash body soap would be the pure castile soap so like this or you can use dr dr bronner's soap something like this and yeah and that's it and so oh for nail polish removal i'm using mineral fusion uh this right here i got this from whole foods and typically the stuff in whole foods are pretty safe for you to, to consume and put on your body and then like of course i've always used this but this is like zero toxicity there's really none in it so this has always been pretty good and then for my hair products i just use these three now i might put some oil on it but it's basically like this shampoo, some type of shea moisture shampoo, and the 100% virgin coconut oil stuff really seems to work well for my hair. So I use this, and then I, I use the same conditioner as a leave-in conditioner. And that's it, and that's all I do. I mean, basically I simplified my beauty routine to absolutely very little things. And the good thing about, uh, the good thing about when you start Wanting to be um, being cognizant cognizant of the type of things that you're putting on your body or in your mouth, you you naturally become a minimalist because a lot of these things out here are not even safe for us. But for some reason, they're allowed to be sold and they're and they're put on the market and it's like consumer use at your own risk, right? Because we all have free will. But anyway, yeah. And so for deodorant. So for deodorant, I haven't really found one that I like. I've typically used stuff like these two and degrees. And degrees, no, that's the worst, but it works. But no, that's not good. This one right here makes me feel, um, it gets kind of heavy underneath in my arms. So that's what I don't like about this brand, that it's kind of heavy. And then with this one, it's a five. So this right here, I don't know, this is like a one or two. And this right here is a five, which I was kind of surprised, but that's probably because of the the antimicrobial um, preservative that they use. But this right here, I mean, I don't use either one nowadays. I just got, I just try to keep my underarms clean, which means like I'll wipe it as needed and lemon I find works pretty well for me, but different things work different for different people. You can probably put like um, witch hazel or something, lemon or something like that. I'll make your own little underarm wipe and typically if i'm not sweating too much it works perfectly fine so until oh i also have this the crystal thing right but like i said i'm not using either one because that's the route i'm going the natural route and then for things like um 
toothpaste like this right here this is an ayurvedic toothpaste and this is pretty low i think i don't know this is two or something and then i might use gum detox and the, the crest brands are really not that high in toxicity but yeah that's it like i said for my body products i i'm 2020 is going to be a journey to minimal to minimalism so living a minimal uh, a lifestyle with minimal products minimal everything like except money <laughs> but minimal um you know just having less things around buying less things being trying to be more uh environmentally conscious and earth conscious and also being more aware of the things that i'm using on myself and the things that i'm putting in my mouth and maybe the things that i'm taking in, in my mind but yeah that's it so yeah if you want to have a look these are those are the products that i'm getting rid of and this is all that i'm left with for my body and stuff and then for my makeup things it's just this little tiny box and that's it and i'm very proud of myself because i didn't actually think it would be that easy but finding natural products is not that easy i mean finding natural non-toxic organic or and all that good stuff everything that's good for you products there aren't too many brands out there that specialize in them but the few brands that do like that are accessible i would say it's bird speed it's um honest it's um i think they have that at, at target i don't know if they have it at walmart but um um what's up physicians formula some of their things um if you like into makeup brands and things like that and then of course you have these new company uh shade moisture most just about all their stuff and i think they do makeup too but just about um there aren't too many companies that are like responsible companies making products that are good for people but surprisingly the 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 natural non-toxic products they work very well um and my body's been re re receiving them very well and i haven't been having like any type of sinus anything i've been feeling energetic i'm not saying that that's i'm not attributing it to using these products but i'm just saying like i just feel like we should try and since we are a part of this planet you know try to try to put our voice out there and 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 by putting our voice out there using your money to buy the things that uh companies are are environment you know from companies that are environmentally friendly from companies that are consumer friendly companies that actually care about your well-being and care about your your health and things like that so yeah that's it uh thanks for watching have a great holiday season Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, and come 2020, hopefully my camera will be functioning and I can do more videos about like how I'm going to detox my kitchen, um, as in the products in the kitchen. Um, maybe, I don't know, like just comment below if there's something specific that you want to see. But yeah, as of right now, that's it. That's, for, that's my journey and hopefully by... 2020 i will it will be a habit and i'll be comfortable with it and i'll know exactly what i'm doing and i can give better tip and better tips and better advice thanks for watching have a great day bye